YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Gallup Racer 2001. Uh, this will be the last episode for uh, this particular season. This is year two. Um, Night Factor still trying to get him his first win. And water walking and deep timing. Uh, we're going to get deep timing one more race before the end of the year to close out his uh, three-year-old season. Which has been a good one. He's already uh, he's already got three wins under his belt in 12 lifetime starts. So he, he's looking good. Let's see what we can do for him. Deep timing 710 furlongs. Like I said, he's been running really well on the dirt. So <clears throat> ideally, I'm going to uh, stick to running him in the dirt. It just seems he is uh, a lot better. And then we'll have to get water walking in another race as well. And of course, like I said, he's a long-term pro uh, prospect project. Uh, we're still going to need to get another Philly, I realize, because we want to... No, we retired. I thought... Didn't we retire? Hold on. I'll, I'll check here in a second, because I thought I retired um, another Philly. Uh, San Francisco. She... This Philly water walking, her power's not great, so I really try... I'm really going to have to try to stick to running her in races where there's no slopes, because she doesn't really appear to handle tracks with slopes too well. Um... Unfortunately, uh, <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything that she can really run. Maybe New Orleans? It's, it's a great a grade three, though. I was trying to run her in a race. Toronto? Trying to run her in a race with no slope. I don't really want to run her in a grade three. So I don't think she's going to be capable of doing that. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. But we'll give it a shot. Um, let's try... Let's see, San Diego, it's 10 furlongs. I don't like the range or the distance. Um, <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, Because again, I'm really trying to get her in a race with no slope, but we don't have a lot of options. <clears throat> so, I guess we'll try New Orleans, grade three. <clears throat> Apologize for my voice here. Take a sip of water. <clears throat> should be good so let's go ahead and check uh, who we have for okay we have no horses I thought we still had a horse <clears throat> I went for a run it's kind of cold outside and my voice has been kind of scratchy ever since so I need to get that together <clears throat> Jeez, I hope that's done <clears throat> I really do So, yeah, um, we're going to need another filly to retire. That way we can breed her with deep timing. Granted, deep timing could probably go past his four-year-old season. So I guess it depends on how I think he's doing. Big field of 14 here for deep timing. <clears throat> and uh, not great odds. So we're probably, it's unlikely that we finish in the money. But there's always a chance. <laughs> And we are right next to the favorite, Broken Mile, in post position 12. And we have some rainy conditions here. Maybe snowy, actually, considering the time of year. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's see. Ready? Looks like rain to me, I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's rain. In deep timing, he needs to be at the front, so now we really have to push him. And he's at the front, at the front, not in first, still not in first, still not in first. And I think this is about as good as we're going to be able to do with him. Because, again, I don't want to gas him out. But now he may have the pace to get ahead of this horse. <clears throat> it's the only problem with him. The only problem. Um, he doesn't get out particularly great. And it takes him forever to get towards the front. He would be much better suited not being a horse that actually wants to lead. Because, like I said, he just doesn't have the speed to get up to the front like we need him to. So we're still going to wait. Still going to wait. Now we're going to get him going. Now uh, we're going to get him going, and we're not doing too bad here, I think, just because of the simple fact that uh, we waited a little bit to get our spurt going, and that horse to the left of us is holding up a lot of horses, so a race where we potentially weren't even going to finish in the money, we end up finishing second place. Luck was on our side, and it's still a good run for deep timing, considering he still didn't drop off the pace in the stretch, considering... He was not expected to finish in the money in second place. Like I said, like I just previously said, as far as retiring him, 
<clears throat> if he continues to do well, even into his four-year-old season, as much as I love, obviously, creating uh, Gallup Racer Originals in this game, <clears throat> there's probably... It's probably better to keep him racing if he's producing good results. If he's finishing top five or under, that is going to help. And that does make a huge difference in this game for when you breed horses together. Their overall results um, and where they're finishing. If they're finishing, obviously, in the top five on a consistent basis, that has helped, as we've been able to see. So, with deep timing, this horse right here, I mean, he's, he's doing well. And I think... We still don't even know when his peak is coming. Now it looks like the line is actually kind of, it's, it looks like it's about to kind of flatten out. So perhaps, like I said, like most horses in this game, this four-year-old season is going to be his best. So it's probably smarter to run him one more year and then retire him as a five-year-old if he's not producing anything great. Night Factor still hasn't had a win. His line is at the top. So maybe he's hitting his peak quickly, which... Maybe we'll end up breeding him sooner than we thought. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see what we can get him in. Cult Cup? I don't know if he's capable of doing that. Um, let me look at his rating again. He is much better on the turf, so we should stick to keeping him on the turf. Six furlongs, not ideal. There's a G3 in Atlantic City at nine furlongs. I'm not really liking the distance of those. Yeah, he can run the Colt Cup, but I don't think he's... I don't think he would fare too well. Um, <clears throat> so this race in New Orleans, this Open, is probably the best uh, the best idea for him. Like I said, I don't think he'll do particularly well against graded competition yet. So we'll, we'll, we'll play it safe with him for now. Play it safe, because I'm still, you know, getting in the groove with him, so to speak. So, uh, we haven't quite, we still haven't won a race with him. So, we still need to make that happen before anything. And, deep timing. He is able to recover pretty quickly, but you see his conditioning is, is you know, above 50%. So, that's why he's able to recover so quickly and, uh, you know, race back to back, kind of. It seems like we race him so often, and we have raced him quite a bit this year, so we'll get him in one more race to close out the year. <clears throat> and the seven furlong race in San Fran could do that. Let's see if there's anything else more appetizing. Eight furlongs in the dirt in Miami. Like I said, I feel like he's running really well in the dirt. I kind of don't want to break that. Ooh. Oh, Toronto does have a slope. I was hoping it didn't. Uh, 10 for lungs, yeah. So, let's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's say, let's run him in Miami for this one, three year olds and up on the dirt. And he can run in one more race if we want to. And I figure we probably will. Um, maybe if, if he's recovered by the last week in December, he may not even be fully recovered. So, we'll see. <laughs> <clears throat> we shall see. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to getting back into Galbraith of 2003 and 2004 here very soon. I'm sure you guys are as well. So, deep timing. Decent odds. And, again, he usually performs way better than what we're expected or projected to finish. So, looking at this here, definitely has a chance to finish in the money because the favorite and three other horses have better odds than us, which means he's a, he's a net fifth if we run our race properly, which really means we can finish better than fifth. And like I said, uh, he, he shows good pace in the stretch, and uh, we had post position three, which is great, so we can actually probably establish our position really early. We actually have a chance to win this race if we run this right. We really do. A chance to win this race, and deep timing for a Galt Racer original, I am very happy with what he's been able to do for us and um yeah i'm looking forward to seeing uh you know if he's going to be able to still run as a four-year-old i think he's going to i think that'll be his last season let's see if we can get him out he doesn't get out particularly well and like i said we're gonna have to really push him here and he's staying okay he's doing pretty well here And 
I'll just settle him in right here. I think this is pretty good pace and positioning. Make sure I give myself space. So I'm going to move a little bit closer to this horse to my right that way. I have the space. I know he's going to drift, but I'll just do this. <clears throat> but yeah, we have, a we have a potential to win this race. Now, it's a fast pace. So again, we have to make sure we get going uh, once these guys kind of gas themselves out a bit. But wait till that horse in front gets going. I want to make sure we have plenty in the tank to kind of run them down. And now we're going to go with deep timing. Now let's see what he can do. And we have that horse up there on the inside, which I think that's the favorite. I think that is the favorite. We got to catch in deep timing. Still showing great resolve here in the stretch. And we're still going to finish third place. He's finishing consistently. This horse is as about as consistent as it gets. We are constantly finishing in the money, which is fantastic. I really, really am like, I mean, for a Gallup Racer original, my first Gallup Racer original in this game, deep timing is really, really, um, I think he's hitting it pretty much on all, you know, on, on all cylinders, considering the fact that he does at least have a couple of wins to his name. He's very consistent. That's important, and I think that's going to help when we do breed him uh, with whomever, as far as the Brumaire is concerned. We don't have her yet. I think that's really going to be good for that original. So here we are in a grade three with water walking, and I figured she is not up for this competition. I need to put that in her notes. No graded races, but I wanted to see how she would do on a track without the slope, and even with no slope, it doesn't make a difference because she is a long, long shot here today. So... She's a long-term project, like I said. She is not even going to be at her best at the earliest until she's six years old. And she's only, what, three years old right now. So we have a long time with this filly. Um, yeah, so we're not expecting anything great from her anytime soon. But I am going to have to figure out what races are the best for her and just try to stick to running her in those races. She gets out great. She gets out fantastic. I mean, I barely had to do anything. And she just rockets right to the front, so... That's good to know, at least, for the future of when we do breed her. Whatever um, foal we get should uh, be really good now. Like I said, she gets out so well, I actually have to pull her back quite a bit. because She's running towards the front, and that's not where she needs to be. But she's comfortable here. And like I said, we are at the long shot, so ideally just trying to finish. Trying to get a good rider eval for one and trying to finish in the money is what I'm going to try. But... This is a grade three race, and like I said, she is nowhere near this competition. But maybe she'll show us something. <clears throat> maybe she'll actually show us something. And we're going to have to watch when to get going. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get her moving just a little bit. Now we'll get her going to try to sneak up on these horses here. Try to catch them napping. We don't really have the space I would like, so I don't know where she's going to go from here. I'm going to have to move her to this gap, and let's see what she does. Yeah, we are slowly dropping back. Like I said, this is an entirely um, pretty field, but she's still, she's not, she still finishes ninth, tenth. <laughs> uh, that was better than what we were supposed to finish. We were the, I mean, we were not even supposed to finish anywhere ahead of anybody. So, considering, still not bad. Like I said, A start, of course, and A control, so that's good for our rider eval. And it means we did about as well as we could have done with her. In that race, so that's that, that's pretty that's pretty promising considering. But um, again, another money place finish for deep timing. And he continues to uh, improve on that form, but night factor up again. Got to get him a win. Love to get him a win before he turns three years old. Uh, deep timing. I don't know if he'll be ready for another race next week. Probably not. So we'll see. It's gonna be a, a much shorter video than I initially anticipated because. I didn't realize uh, there was only so many more races we could have done, but it is what it is. Like I said, really looking forward to getting back into Gallup Racer 2003 and 2004. Snowy conditions here today for Night Factor. Not the favorite, but we have a chance to win. We are next to the favorite. We have post position nine, though. So getting a good start is essential in making sure that we keep ourselves towards the front. Like I said, got it in my notes. Keep close to the front. That way, uh, we're about two or three lengths off the lead maximum, and we can, um, like I said, once he gets going, he shows he has the speed, so. <clears throat> we have a chance to get him his first win here today. Like I said, fortunately, we are next to the favorite, so I figure we can kind of shadow this horse full metal, the eight. We can shadow what he's doing, stick very close to him, and just try to get our spurt going a little bit later. 
I don't want to let him out of my sights. I think that's going to be our key to trying to get this win here today. So let's see. Great start here, and I don't have to do anything with him because uh, he's not going to be running in the front. But like I said, keeping him near the leaders, that is ideally what we want. And the favorite's actually behind us, so he's in the yellow right now because uh, we're running him a little too far ahead. But now, now he's comfortable, so the leader is kind of moving in. Now that horse is moving out. I don't really like this. We're in last place. He's comfortable right now. And I see the leader. I'm going to keep him. Like I said, we're, I mean, the lead is probably, we're five or six lengths off the lead right now. So I'm kind of going to just keep him moving up at this rate. Mid pace. Because we're going to have to, I mean, we're running much wider here. So we're going to have to kind of move him up a little bit sooner. Obviously. And there's the leader going right now. Let's get him going and let's see if we can close in. Us and the leader are coming from a long way back. Let's see what Night Factor can do here. And he's showing some speed. Furlong left to go. Can Night Factor close in? Look at this run from Night Factor on the outside. And we just finished fifth. Oh, man. He has so much speed once he finally gets going. Look at that drive in the stretch. Did the favorite end up winning? May have just... No, he did not. That was a close race. That was probably much closer than we... Anticipated fifth place still just Man, oh man, that's the only thing I'm noticing if I'm running on the outside I do have to get him going sooner because I, I said this probably videos ago A while ago in this series that the outside in this game does not work like it does in the other Gallup racer games Where you can make that work this one if you're gonna run on the outside in the stretch You know coming off turns three and four you really have to get your horse going a lot sooner Especially if they have a slow spurt but that was obviously the case here. We would have gotten him going a tad bit earlier. I'm sure we would have actually won that race. So, again, um, put this in my notes as well. Keep close. I'm going to say, if outside, start sooner. So, if outside, start early. Because that's about all we're really missing with him. <clears throat> his conditioning is not good, unfortunately. Maybe we've ran him a little bit more than we should have for his two-year-old season. And deep timing, he's in green condition now. Eh, I would probably, it's probably best not to run him again. But water walking, we can actually run again. So I guess we'll run her in a race if there's the one that we can do with her that's not graded. And open, eight furlongs on the dirt. This might be decent for him. So that'll be the last race of this video and of this series until we're back. I've really been enjoying it though, I really have. Night Factor, we're still still trying to get him his first win. I know we're going to. I know we're going to. Like I said, I'm just just trying to uh, get the the spurt timing down. Like I said, he's a little bit different just because he has a slower spurt and he runs towards the back. If he had a normal spurt or a faster one, then yeah, we would have, I'm sure, already won at least two races. We're going to get a win with him. I'm not honestly worried at all. And uh, yeah, it's been a great year for deep timing. Great year for him. Um, three wins, and like I said, he's pretty much consistently finishing the money, I feel like, for most of his races. So very good. Very good year for deep timing. Last race here with Water Walking. Like I said, she is a long-term project, so we don't expect anything right. But she did do much better than I thought in that grade three that we just ran her in. Um, you know, we were expected to finish way behind the field. Now, she actually... Finished ahead of four horses, with still some left in the tank. So, I think that's pretty uh, a pretty good sign of when she's in at her true form. She might be able to run into Grade Three, but not great odds here today. But then again, maybe she'll finish a little bit better. She gets out really well, and we have post position five, which works for us. So we'll see. I, I definitely feel she'll be decent when she's. Like I said, at her peak, or getting close to her peak. I feel like we'll be able to get some solid results and some wins with her. So she gets out great. So that, that is good to know just for whenever, whenever we breed her. Hopefully the, the foal will inherit that ability. Um, yeah, she's pretty comfortable right here. And I guess we'll just keep her right here now. We're just going to have to wait and see what these horses ahead of us do. It's the only unfortunate thing when you have a horse that's midfield or not a horse that want, or a horse that just doesn't want to be leading. 
you're kind of at the mercy of the rest of the field in terms of your positioning, you know? Because once the AI get locked in a certain spot, if they don't want to move, they're not going to move. Like I said, they're not programmed to really detect that a human player is actually there. Um, not a whole lot of space. I'm sure the gap in front of us is probably going to close. Let's see. Does she have enough in the tank to get past any horses that may gas out? Oh, she's closing in, closing in. And this horse is going to move right in front of us. That would, of course, be... I mean, if we were actually in a position to get past that horse, that certainly would have been an inquiry. But, yeah, I never get inquiries in this game. She finishes eighth. Not bad. Not bad, considering what our odds are prior to the race. And like I said, we're still getting double A's as far as our eval is for her. So that, to me, is still good. That lets me know that once she's getting uh, better or closer towards when she'll be in peak performing condition, that we'll be able to hopefully string some wins for us. Breaking went down, considering how well she got out. That's a little questionable, but everything else, temper, incline, and conditioning went up. Well, here we are at the end of the year as Navigator Cindy shows us the results. And let's see. Horse of the Year is Bear Prince. Best Sprinter and Miler is Boz the Hog. Best Dirt Horse, Deddy Dead. Best Older Colt, Bear Prince. Best Older Philly, Dark Carol. Best Three-Year-Old Colt, A Firm Deal. Best Three-Year-Old Philly, Tropic Heat. Best two-year-old Colt, Warm Star, and best two-year-old Philly, Shaggy May. Jockey Awards. Of course, we will not be anywhere near the top because we only race so much, and we don't have horses that can string together consistent wins yet. We will get there eventually. We always get there. Biggs, Angelo Hudson, your top three jockeys of the year. We finished 20th out of whatever. I'm not sure what that would have been. Earnings, of course, we're not going to be anywhere near there as well. That will come at a later point. We're only... Now approaching year three in this game. I'm sure we won't be in the top five as far as jockey standings are concerned probably for another five years. So some promising horses. Warm Star, All Talk, Good Colts, Warm Star. I swear I had Warm Star before. Shag May and Rick's Trick for the Phillies. Flash Jack and How Secretu. How Secretu? And then there was another cult up there I didn't see. But Tropic Heat for the Phillies, a four-year-old Aristocrat, Prior Fame, both five-year-old horses. And that brings us to year three in this game. We have not gone bankrupt. I have made sure we have stuck to a system that works. Deep Timing is officially four years old. He can only run ten times this year. So he does have a limit, obviously. I didn't really pay attention to that as the horses get older. Um, and as they get closer, I guess, to when they're going to be retired, they'll be in, um, in less of the optimal condition to run in as many races as they probably previously had. But his, um, his growth type, as far as the chart and the line is concerned, is not going down yet. So like I said, I mean, deep timing will run him again this year. I'm not going to retire him. Um, I could considering but i mean he's still performing well and finishing in the money which we still do need right now more importantly than breeding so as long as he's still you know finishing in the top five on a consistent basis i mean i'm not going to retire him anytime soon it kind of be foolish he's really the main horse bringing that has consistently kept uh bringing in money for us and like i said he's been a great ride and i do enjoy uh, working with him um he gets out slow but besides that i mean he's He's consistent. I know I can rely on him in the stretch. Night Factor, we still got to get him a win, five races, and we are still striking out. But we're going to get there soon. And then um, Water Walking, of course, like I just said, she's a long-term uh, project. So we know we're just going to have to kind of wing it with her. But uh, I feel she'll be decent when she's really at her best. So I'm looking forward. I'm definitely looking forward to the future here. Night Factor, we'll try to get him his first win in deep timing. This is probably going to be his last year as a four-year-old. Then we'll retire him and breed him in the, the fourth season, essentially. We do need another filly eventually, but since I don't think I'm going to breed in this season, um, this is year three of this playthrough in this game. I don't think I'm going to breed this year because there's nobody to retire, and I don't want to buy horses just to do that. Not now. Um, I figure it'll still be better to just wait a year until next year. So this year, we're really just going to focus on who we got right now. Deep timing, still trying to build this 
profile up and try to send him out on a good note. Night factor, try to string a couple wins together for him. And water walking, I want to get her to a point where we can constantly finish in the money with her. I think that's our focus with her over time. And um, whenever we get back to this game, which should be relatively soon, like I said, since now Gallup Racer 2004, I'm going to be playing essentially nonstop. It'll actually be quicker to get back to this game um, compared to how I was previously doing it. But guys, that's going to end this episode, and we are officially in year three. Next up will be Gallup Racer 2003 and 2004. Both are right around the corner for uploads on this channel. So I always appreciate you guys' love and support. And, uh, yeah, we will be back with God Racer 2003 for our next episode here. But until next time, Morris Racing Gamers, and out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. Fling and goodbye.